Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today I'm reviewing another Halo Mega Bloks construction set. 97450 Wireless Attack Mantis. This set is composed of 120 pieces, and the retail price is $59.99. Here's a nice look at the back of the packaging, with a complete overview of all the Mantis' features. Included with this set is a UNSC Mantis, a remote control, and one minifigure. To start off the review, let's first take a look at the UNSC Mantis, which is the second to be released in the line. For starters, it's gigantic, coming in at 9.5 inches tall and 7 inches wide from weapon mount to weapon mount. For the most part, it's solid pieces, including the legs as well as most of the torso. But that's not to say that they didn't include some small detailing pieces here and there, such as the gold studs on the side of the legs, along with some plating. Like the previous Mantis, each foot has two support claws on the front, and they are articulated, with side to side movement, as well as up and down. On the back of the shins is brown thrusters, along with adjustable flaps. And there's a similar thruster on the tip of the torso, too. The legs do have some additional movement at the hips, including side-to-side -side action, as well as up and down, too. All of the detailing that you see is fortunately printed onto the pieces themselves, including the UNSC Eagle on the front of the torso, gold caution strips on top of the legs, vehicle detailing, and additional UNSC Eagles on both sides of the main head, as well as the top too. There is some actual physically sculpted detail, including rivets on the torso, and vents on the back of the head. Moving on to the head, is two yellow translucent headlights on the front, and on the top is more yellow translucent lights, along with additional plate detailing. Attached to the right arm is a heavy chain gun, which has two ammunition belts mounted on its side. And on the left arm, is a 5-tube rocket pod. Off to the left hand side is some circular plates, which are adjustable. The back has even more sculpted and plate detail. And on the top is an opening hatch, which reveals the cockpit. Inside is more yellow lighting, along with a sculpted chair and two control handles. And of course you can seat one minifigure inside. Include with the Mantis, is its wireless controller, which is meant to mimic the Xbox One controller. When you press one of its five buttons, it activates a blue light. Moving on to the electronic features, it's an on and off switch on the back of the torso. And once that's switched on, by simply pressing the button on the front, it activates the lights and sounds. Once that's activated, you can use the wireless controller to control different functions, including the head's movement. By pressing the blue button, it activates the headlights. The yellow button activates an action sequence. The green button controls the chain gun, which actually has recoil. And of course, the red button launches the rockets, with one rocket launch for each click, followed by a reloading audio clip afterwards. The single minifigure is none other than the Master Chief himself in his Halo 4 Mark VI armor. The armor itself is painted in a metallic green color, with black for detailing, black for the jumpsuit, and gold for his visor. Thanks to the new interchangeable armor system, most of Chief's armor can be removed and customized with other minifigures, which you can learn more about in my The Future of Halo Megablocks minifigures video linked below. 
and his weapons and accessories include a black Halo 3 assault rifle. Overall, for about $60, it may seem a little overpriced at 120 pieces, but you have to remember that the vast majority of it is solid unique parts. The sheer size alone is a drastic upgrade from the previous Mantis, but it lacks articulation and makes up for it with all of those awesome electronic features. In the past few days that I've had this, I've definitely been having some fun with it, so I go ahead and recommend it. But still, you might want to wait for one of those inevitable sales to get it a little bit cheaper. I hope you all enjoyed this review, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.